Chapter 2. Harriet Grows Up. When Harriet was 15 years old, she saw another slave trying to escape. The master trapped the man inside a store. When Harriet came into the store, the master told her to help him hold the slave. But Harriet said no. The slave got up and ran out. Harriet blocked the door behind him to help him get away. The master picked up a heavy piece of metal that was used for weighing things. He threw it at Harriet. The piece of metal hit her so hard that it knocked her out. It made a big open hole in her forehead that started to bleed all over. Everyone thought that Harriet would die, but Rit would not let that happen. Rit took Harriet home and took care of her every hour of the day. After many months, Harriet's head got better, but she had a scar on her forehead and she had brain damage. For the rest of her life, Harriet never knew when she might suddenly fall asleep. She could fall asleep in the middle of talking and no one would be able to wake her up. They just had to wait until she woke up by herself. When Harriet was well again, she was put back to work. Now she wanted freedom even more. She wanted to run away to the north, but people told her that it was too dangerous to try. When slaves tried to escape, they sometimes got caught by their masters. Then they got sold away from their families. They were forced to walk in chains to the state of Mississippi or Louisiana in the Deep South to be slaves down there. Most of them never saw their homes again. Many slaves died on the long trip. Other slaves had to work so hard in the Deep South that they died down there. When Harriet was grown, she married a man named John Tubman who lived near her master's plantation. That is how she got her last name. John Tubman was black like Harriet, but he was a free man. The years passed. Harriet heard more and more stories about slaves who had run away to the north and not been caught. When Harriet was 29 years old, she decided that she also must try to escape. She asked John to go with her and help her to become free like him. But John refused to go. We don't know why he refused. Maybe he was disappointed because Harriet had not had any children with him. And so he didn't want to help her. Maybe he was happy with his life the way it was. Or maybe he was just afraid of what would happen to him and Harriet if they were caught. 